from the writings of the earliest Hindu scriptures, there was to be what they call Kalki Avatar, the last of the messengers. This is interesting because these writings predate the Prophet ﷺ. There are signs of his coming. He said the Kalaki Avatar, he will be the last of all those that will speak on behalf of the Lord. Meaning he will be the last messenger. He will be born in a desert land. His father will have the meaning of Vishnu Bahagat, yani the slave of God, Abdullah. His mother's name will be Sumani, which will be the peaceful and the calm one, yani Amin. His food will be dates and olives. He will be inspired by God in a cave. SubhanAllah, and his inspiration will come to him in a cave. He will travel the world on a horse-like creature that will then take him above the sky. He will be born on the 12th of the month. That's interesting. Each one of these will match Rasulullah sallallahu Have you ever wondered if the world's religions are interconnected in ways we may not fully understand? Today, we delve into an intriguing topic the earliest mention of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in Hindu scriptures. Prophet Muhammad finds mention in all the scriptures previously revealed to different prophets of the time, as he was to be the final one for the whole mankind, according to God's plan. In many scriptures like Torah, revealed to Moses and to Bible to Jesus Christ, the name of Prophet Muhammad is mentioned as the final one to come. Even in Hindu scriptures, the name of Muhammad is mentioned as the final messenger to come. The advent of Prophet Muhammad is mentioned more than once in the Hindu scriptures. Hindu scriptures are divided into three basic categories, Vedas, Upanishads, and Puranas. There are differences about the age of those scriptures. Some people believe that they go back almost 4,000 years. The first instance we find is in the Bhavishya Purana, a Hindu scripture that speaks of future events. This text, written thousands of years ago, contains prophecies about people who would impact the world in significant ways. Among these figures, it mentions a Muhammad, a leader who would emerge from the desert and guide his followers with a new religion. This prophecy is intriguing as it aligns with the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was born in the arid lands of Mecca and founded Islam. The Pavishya Purana, a text from a different religious tradition, appears to speak of the Prophet even before his birth. The Atharva Veda, another Hindu scripture, also contains verses that scholars interpret as references to Prophet Muhammad. The text mentions a Narashansa, or praised one, a title that resonates with the meaning of Muhammad in Arabic. In the Sama Veda, there is a hymn dedicated to the Ahmad, which is another name of Prophet Muhammad. This hymn speaks of a leader who will guide people to the right path, mirroring the mission of the Prophet. The question arises, why would Hindu scriptures mention Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? One possible answer is that truth transcends religious boundaries. As Islam teaches, all prophets were sent with the same fundamental message of monotheism and righteousness, which is reflected in various religious scriptures. In summary, the presence of Prophet Muhammad in Hindu scriptures is a testament to the interconnectedness of religious traditions. The Bhavishya Purana, Atharva Veda and Sama Veda contain verses that scholars interpret as references to the prophet. This cross-religious recognition suggests that the truth of monotheism and the message of righteousness are universal, transcending the boundaries of individual religions. This exploration offers a fresh perspective on the relationship between Hinduism and Islam, highlighting the shared threads of truth that weave through these diverse traditions, recognizing the universal truths that unite us all. The time has come for all of us to seriously think and ponder over Quran, the final book bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, especially in the present scenario of the world when humanity is threatened and dissect its teachings to apply to solve the problem of humanity.